What's up, Wolverines? I'm Christian Cueto. And I'm Bobby Caballero. And welcome to today's edition of WBLN. Physics takes flight at Belen Jesuit. The 11th grade physics class stepped out of the classroom and into the wind tunnel at iFly Indoor Skydiving. This unique field trip gives students a first-hand look at the forces of aerodynamics, from lift to drag, turning theory into action. Javi Careño dives into how these young scientists are experiencing the laws of physics in a whole new way. One teacher is taking learning to new heights, literally. Students traded the classroom for iFly, where wind tunnels and the students will get a hands-on learning of aerodynamics and drag. Drag is the force that opposes motion through a fluid like air. At iFly, powerful vertical fans blow air upwards at speeds up to 160 miles an hour. This creates a column moving air that generates enough drag to counteract gravity, allowing your body to hover in the air. I spoke with Willie Mallon on his experience at iFly. Uh, it relates to physics in uh, many ways. The first being um, how you reach your terminal velocity. The, um, how you reach terminal velocity is when the air resistance is equal to the force of gravity. So uh, when my weight is equal to the force of gravity I'm being pulled at, I'm at a constant velocity and my acceleration is zero. So I'm able to stay still and I can just float around, which I found really cool. You know, every operation needs a mastermind. And it's pretty clear that Mrs. De La Heria is the brains behind this one. Um, coming out here is a good way for us to see how forces work in real life. Um, so for example, we were able to teach about drag force, gravitational force, how terminal velocity affects you when you're flying, and then we got to actually test it. Um, we were able to calculate surface area of each student, test their terminal velocity in the tunnel, and then calculate how accurate the prediction is versus the actual values. So it's, it's easier to remember once you do something, you probably are never gonna forget it, and it's a good way to connect the concepts. So instead of just reading something or hearing about something, you're actually doing it, and that tends to make something easier to remember or better to learn. For WBLN News, this has been Javier Carreño reporting. Thanks, Javi. Behind every great game is a voice that brings it to life. Meet Carlos Segrera, the Belen Jesuit basketball announcer, who's been calling the shots since his freshman year. From tracking player stats to capturing the key moments that define each game, Carlos has had his skills as a broadcaster honed while learning valuable lessons along the way. Matias Murle takes you courtside to hear how passion and preparation make this student announcer a true MVP. As this year's high school basketball season commences, you'll be hearing a familiar voice while watching the games, that of Carlos Segreira. Carlos started his high school basketball broadcasting career as a freshman, and now that he is a senior, he has learned many valuable lessons throughout his journey. Due to the intense schedule broadcasters have, Carlos has to stay on top of player stats and key moments while preparing for each game. So as far as that goes, um, really just like looking over max preps before the game and creating uh, documents, whether it's on Notability or Google Docs, of the other players on the other team. Obviously, I know all the Belen guys, but it's important to keep on top of the players on the other team because, for example, in the beginning of the game, a lot of other high school broadcasters will maybe just call them by their jersey numbers before they can learn their names and stuff, but I try to do that beforehand just so it appears as natural and professional as possible. In order to be a successful broadcaster, broadcasters have to love and be passionate about what they are covering. Carlos is passionate about covering high school basketball because of the different styles coaches employ on their teams and the unique relationship he has with the Belen basketball team. Obviously in high school basketball, it's not like professional level athletes doing these things. And I feel like it's fun to see your friends and like Belen brothers on the court uh, doing something that they love. And obviously when you're a professional broadcaster, you really don't have a relationship with the players on the court. But since they're my friends, um, I really do feel genuine happiness when they do something good on the court. And also just seeing the different style of coaching in high school as opposed to the professional level. I watch a lot of NBA, but the high school game just has a sort of flow to it. The Wolverines have a young, exciting roster this season with a mix of fresh talent and experienced seniors. Lucas Diaz. I think the Wolverines overall have a very strong roster. Um, this is the year that we've had the most sophomores. We have four sophomores on the roster. Most notably, the guy that everybody knows, Orlando Roche, who will definitely make a big impact on the team this year. 
but you also have seniors, guys like Max Klemek, who have been injured sophomore, junior year, trying to you know make a name for themselves this senior season. And then you also have two juniors that started last year um, in Mikey Valdez and Javi Vasor. Uh, we normally didn't see juniors start in my previous years broadcasting at Belen, but those guys really are tough players that have that Belen spirit. The challenge that comes with being a broadcaster is the fact that it is a life take with no room for error. And that aspect is something Carlos embraces. I mean, at the end of the day, these broadcasts are live and that's what I sign up for. You know, I could do a pre-recorded video uh, covering the team, but I think that's what makes it the best. It's that dynamic element. Um, you never know what's going to happen. And so you got to be on your toes. you got to be ready for anything. And most importantly, you can't fold in the moment. If something goes wrong, there's no cut. There's no, hold on, let's try that again. You just have to go with what the game gives you. This is Matias Mioele reporting for WBLN. Serving up smiles and connection, students from Belen Jesuit and Great Heights Academy came together for Pickleball for a Purpose, an inspiring event where sports became a bridge for joy and inclusion. Through the fast-paced fun of Pickleball, these students teamed up to celebrate camaraderie, break barriers, and share unforgettable moments on the court. Rocco Branger shares a heartwarming story that proves sports can truly bring people together. Bringing joy and connection through sport. Belen Jesuit recently teamed up with Great Heights Academy for an inspiring event called Pickleball and Purpose. This special gathering brought students and kids with special needs together on the court for a day of fun, teamwork, and inclusion. This event needs to land uh, the slogan, AMDG, meant for others, no matter who they are, what they are, their background, what disability they have, they're still class children and we need to help them. And this event came about when for uh, class, Ignatian Leadership with Mr. Jordan, I went to their environmental experience and I went to the Hex Academy. And coming there, I thought that these kids were just going to be any who weren't able to speak and do the same things that we can, but I realized that if anything, they're more intelligent and less emotionally and they're just the best people to be around because they're always happy and it's care for you. This event wasn't just about playing pickleball. It was about breaking barriers and building bridges. By bringing together kids with special needs and Belen students, the goal is to foster understanding, promote inclusion, and create meaningful connections through the joy of teamwork and sport. This event that we're partnering at the Grand Heights Academy, it's a great way for the students to really like gauge, you know, like how to operate in the real world. Because, you know, we're partnering with a school where we don't see kids with um, special needs like this like every day. So it's a great opportunity for us to like branch out, like grow like great friendships and like really bond with kids that like could use a friend or could use help use like a, a hand to feel like included in like everyday activity. So pickleball is a great sport for the Bowen students and as the founder of the Bowen Pickleball Club, like I saw that and Dylan Presley, our freshman chairperson, thought it'd be a great idea to invite Great Heights to have me over and really like teach them and build bond between our students and theirs. Events like these remind us that when we come together, we can create a space where everyone belongs. Reporting for WBLN, I'm Rocco Granger. What's up guys, I'm Gero Vick and here's your weather for today. All throughout the day, the weather's gonna be very delightful with lows of 54 and a high of 73 and it'll be partly cloudy all day and out of sports. What's up Wolverines? I'm Aiden D'Olivera and here are your sports for today. Your varsity basketball team took on Cohia last night. The Wolverines unfortunately came up short 58-54. Your varsity soccer team took on Cypress Bay on the road yesterday and unfortunately they lost as well 1-0. Now on to the pros. The Rams take on the 49ers in a classic NFC West rivalry. The Miami Heat take on the Toronto Raptors tonight at 7.30 and the Florida Panthers take on the Vancouver Canucks at 7.30 as well. That's all for you news today. Now back to the guys at the desk. Thanks, Aiden. That's all your news for today. Remember, stay safe and stay golden, Wolverines.